guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today I'm back with another makeup tutorial it's been a whole year since I've done my last Halloween tutorial I'm actually to be honest with you I don't even remember creating Halloween looks last year I think last year was so hectic that we just ended up doing something simple like we dressed up as um, I think like a Toy Story characters with the kids and called it a day pretty much this year is going to be a little bit different because you know with the pandemic nowadays is kind of a different situation and we already went to a treat with the kids to the Knott's Berry Farm it was a lot of fun but I think for the most part people are not really going to party this year so I don't know how popular this makeup uh, Halloween looks uh, will be this year but I decided to get into spirit of Halloween anyway and create a couple of looks for you. So before I start my makeup tutorial, I would like to talk to you about my uh, collaboration with a brand called This Year. I told you about this brand before, I worked with them previously and they are an amazing brand. They uh, offer different perfumes, I have two of them right here. First name is the Oriental Woody 7 and the second is the Floral uh, 5. So. Um, this brand specializing uh, in creating perfumes that would have uh, long-lasting scents and uh, they're made in France but they are also very affordable. Uh, for example, the bottle like that is about $30 on their website. And uh, when you're choosing the perfume, you know, it's kind of hard to choose the perfume over the internet. You don't really know what to expect. So the cool thing about them, when they ship you this bottle, they also ship you a little tiny sample with, along with it. So you can open the sample, you can uh, smell it, you can see how it lasts on your body. And if you're not satisfied for any reasons, you have a free um, shipment or a free returns uh, for this big perfume as long as it's an unopened box. So that's the cool thing. So you don't really have to guess. You can order a few scents and just pick the one that you like. So it kind of gives you a freedom. So And also on the website, what's very comfortable is that they have... Um, alternatives like expensive alternative to uh, this sense for example um, uh, one of my perfumes was the alternative to Chloe Chloe um, and then I forgot what was the second one but so you can kind of like see the inspiration what it smells sm like similar to it's not the same uh, scent of course uh, but you can kind of you know get the idea basically and also the cool thing about this brand is that they always have some kind of discounts or coupons like twenty uh, like a 20% off over the website and if you order uh, free bottles or more you get I believe 25% it's always different you can always take a look on their website so I really love this brand and uh, this brand is also they make perfumes in France so you get a real deal for you know for much cheaper because in stores uh, the perfume costs like hundreds of dollars from my experience and if you're curious I'll post a link down below so if you guys want to go and check it out so for this year um, like I told you I wanted to create some kind of very simple look I uh, didn't want to get a bunch of things for this Halloween so the only thing I got is this uh, palette right here it's like a body art palette I just got it on Amazon for $18 what I also like about it that there is a large white paint and a black paint because those are two colors that usually run out first um, off. So I wanted to create something simple but with like a pop of color. So that's why the idea of creating the look of Lady in Red came to my mind. So the first of all, I'm going to start with my base. I'm going to apply uh, MAC Poreless uh, by Maybelline in the shade 220 all over my face. This is more so my like a fair, um, fair tone. I'm not super thin right now, so I think it should be fine. And um, well, I'm going to put a little bit of as a base, you know. And then I'm going to set it with my Laura Mercier. Uh, smooth finish foundation power uh, powder in the shade 05. I'm going to use my the largest brush I have. Just set it my whole face with it. Now I'm going to contour my face using this Lorac um, 
palette. I'm sorry guys, it's so dirty. And I'm using the Kat Von D, uh, this angle brush. So with the medium shade, I'm just going to define a little bit my cheekbone. So now that my face is all ready for the mask, I'm going to use this white brush. I'm going to see how it works. I don't have much of the experience working with like a body art makeup or um, yeah, with body art makeup because that's what it is. So I'm just going to basically wing it. couple of like inspiration pictures I believe one of them was by the girl her name is crispy on YouTube she does a lot of makeup tutorials and um, she has such a great like Halloween tutorial so she created the look I think it's called uh, devil or something like that so um, I got a little bit of inspiration from her but I think she painted the entire face red and um, entire face white so I didn't want to go that dramatic so this is kind of like a simplified version and there's like a couple of our people that I got the inspiration from so we'll see how that turned out I have like a very small mirror so I apologize because every time when I work with like a big mirror it's kind of hard to um, it's kind of hard to like hide it from the camera so this time I decided to work with a small mirror let me guys know what you are going to be this Halloween I'm very curious if any of you actually celebrating what you're doing I don't even know if the clubs are like open or how would that work with the masks I don't know let me guys know your thoughts yeah, it's definitely not like the most symmetrical, but anyway, I think it's good enough for me. So the next thing, I'm going to apply the red around this mask so I can have like a little bit of a, I don't know, sort of a shadow. And I'm using this Morphe palette, it's one of their oldest, uh, older palettes, it's the 35C, I'm just going to use this red paint. This red eyeshadow. Yeah, this is actually pretty precise. So I'm just going to outline it. And I'm actually adding a little bit of this orange because every time when I'm just applying the red, it looks a little bit too pink. So adding a little bit of orange, it warms it up and makes it a little more, you know, yellow tone, red. Okay, so now that we're done outlining it, actually now that we're done with the shading around the mask, I'm going to outline it with this red paint, with this tiny uh, brush for the acrylic paints. I'm just try going to try to get like really precise, I might cover... Um, I might like keep this closer a little bit because okay, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows, I'm just going to draw them red.
I'm pretty much done with my mask. I just applied, um, you know, sort of a symmetrical lines, and I applied this um, little things. I don't know how to call them in English. Uh, with my uh, Morphe pencil, this is like a I don't know one of the red ones. So this is what I used to add a little bit of more details. So now I'm going to do my eye um, my eyeshadows. And for the eyeshadows, I'm going to use this um, blending brush by Morphe. I'm going to apply the same red eyeshadow from the palette I used, and I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. to bring it all the way up to my um, brow bone so now using my uh, small brush it's like a pencil brush I'm going to apply the same red eyeshadow to my bottom lash line so now using a small brush I'm going to use actually my eyeshadow palette this is the glamour tree I'm going to use the shade Keeping it a hundred because it's like a super bright highlighter. I'm just going to pop it in my inner corner Just a little bit Yep, I think that's that's all I need really And now using small once again Morphe pencil brush I'm going to apply this uh, dark brown and then I'll probably apply Black well black is like super black, but I guess I guess we're going extra today, so yeah, let's go for black. I'm going to do a little bit of a smoky eye for this look. Now I'm going to use my Olme uh, liner. I'm going to wing it out. So I'm almost done uh, with my look. I just applied um, the liner, and then I applied some mascara, and I repeated the same thing on the same on the second side. So the last two things I need to do is applying the false eyelashes and uh, doing my lips. So I'm going to do my lips first. I'm using this Morphe lip liner. I don't have the name of it, or I cannot find it. Oh, I think it's called Mina. Now I'm gonna use this Morphe once again Mega Matte um, lipstick in the shade Steamy. This, and I'm gonna do the lashes. I'm using the Iconic Lashes by House of Lashes with my glue. Once again, House of Lashes Blue. It's like a black blue. Okay, the lashes. Make all the difference, right? So that is it, guys, for today's look. It was very fun to create it because, you know, Halloween is only once a year. So it was very different this year because we don't really get to go out much as far as like celebrating different occasions lately so let me guys know what you're going to be for Halloween this year if you're going to celebrate or not and what you guys think about this look and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet I really appreciate that until the next time I'll see you guys soon bye